Welcome everyone, and thanks for joining us to talk about supercharging your developer productivity. My name is David Reed. I'm really excited to talk to you about Delivery Cloud today, which is a core part of what I work on as part of Industries Cloud at Salesforce. And I'm also very excited to have Kamal Devarakanda with us today, who leads all of our automation efforts across industry clouds. We do want to make sure to remind you to make all your purchasing decisions based on functionality that's currently available. We might tell you a little bit about the future in the course of this talk. And as a last caveat before we dive in, I want to let you know that we're in the process of rebranding these products. If you know and love what we're talking about today under the names Cumulus CI, Meta Deploy, and Mateco, don't worry. We're going to talk to you today about Delivery Cloud, Delivery Cloud Builder, and Delivery Cloud Interface, but it's all of the functionality that you already use and value. So let's dive in. But today we're going to talk about productivity. And in order to tell a story about productivity, Kamal and I are going to put ourselves into the shoes of users in the Salesforce ecosystem. Kamal is going to be a developer, and he's going to walk us through the critical challenges that he faces in maintaining his productivity day to day. As a consultant, I'm going to work with Kamal to help solve some of those problems. So Kamal, why don't you take it away? Walk us through what is holding back developers' productivity. That's, that's an important question, uh, David, because this is what actually I, be, I work every day in, day out. And most of my days in a day, I'm just giving you a sample of the common things what I do in a day-to-day -day job for any org setup. It, in an average, it takes around six to eight hours uh, to set up an org for me. Most of the times I go through the setup guide, I understand the instructions, and I see any new or metadata configuration licenses or data I need to create specifically to that uh, org or a product and sample data, manual configurations, uh, and the list goes on. Like, But in general, with my expertise working on this kind of org setup from last five to 10 years, uh, I feel I can get things done within six to eight hours, which to me is very fast. That sounds like and, an awful lot of time, Kamal. So what, what do you think is underlying all of these challenges that hold you back? Yeah. As I mentioned, right, uh, it's, it takes six to eight hours. It's, it's long hours when it all depends on the perspective. But yes, um, I really like to get it down to a few hours or uh, anything like something like that. But most of the thing what happens is there are three uh, barriers which I generally see as a developer is it, it takes generally six hours, as I mentioned. Uh, it needs to be fast. That's my first problem statement I'm trying to solve. The second thing is reliability. Uh, when my colleague and myself work, at times I don't get the same result uh, when he or she set up the org. We both, even though we both follow the same setup guides or instructions and everything. The other, Interesting challenge what we face while set, working in a common environment is at times when I set up something in an org and my colleague comes, he or she do, does some changes, my changes are overridden. So I always love to have an isolated working place where I can actually do my configurations and I can share my configurations. Uh, these are the three main problem statements which are bothering my productivity and I'm struggling to do the same activity where I'm taking more time. Yeah, thank you, Kamal. What I think I see here is problems that are shared, not just by developers, but by many users throughout the Salesforce ecosystem. It takes you a very long time, once you sit down to work on a user story, to get yourself to the state where you can start doing productive work. You struggle with reproducibility because your environment doesn't look like the environments used by your teammates. And sometimes you run into these bottlenecking challenges where you have to share orgs and other infrastructure, and that's not productive. Mm -hmm. So Kamal, I'm going to offer you okay. a bit of a challenge here. I believe that I can solve all three of these critical challenges by giving you a single command that you can run. And that command will get you an environment in a much shorter time than, than the time it currently takes you. Your environment will be completely isolated, and it will be reproducible with a single command. What do you say? It is too good to believe. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've been doing this kind of setup from a few years. And what you're saying is 
uh, Kamal, you don't need to go through the setup guide, do all this stuff and everything, manually run the configuration, just run this command and it'll actually set up everything for me. I love to believe you, David, but somehow I'm not able to digest this fact. Well, let's do a bit of a challenge here, Kamal. I am going to put my automation, the single command, up against your hands-on work prepping an org. Mm -hmm. And let's see who can get to the end a little bit faster, shall we? Sure, I'm up for it. All right. Now, before we do that, let's set let's set expectations. Where are we getting to, Kamal, that would constitute a success here? Yeah, the one what you're showing right now. Ideally, when we both complete our work, we should see an org set up something like this. Yep, you should be ready to sit down and start doing productive work right away as soon as your org finishes. Yep. All right, let's dive into it. Yep. Kamal, you're going to build this org by hand, and I'm going to build this org with automation. Let's see how it goes. OK, let me pull my cheat sheet. So David, this is the general steps I follow to set up my org. So I know the sequence, what to do. I, I, I exactly know how to do it, so let's get started. All right, this looks like an awful lot of work, Kamal. Uh, I, I want to ask anybody who's uh, watching this conversation to think through how long would it actually take you to do this kind of very complex setup, including a data load across many different objects? Let's dive in, Kamal, and see how fast we can get it done. Yep. All right, we're running our challenge here. I'm getting started. I've run my single command, CCI flow run dev org. And you know yeah. what? I'm actually going to walk away here, Kamal. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. Yeah, I think mostly I'm also kind of done. I'm just working on it. So let's see how it goes. All right. So you're going to get your scratch org created. Yeah. Start walking down your list of steps. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do now. Now, one of the things I think I see in your workflow, Kamal, is you're having to wait for each of your steps to complete. And then you start your next step and maybe you engage for 30 seconds or a few minutes, you do some more waiting and then you have to come back. Yep. Yep. I'm not even here anymore. I'm actually, I'm in the kitchen. I'm getting coffee while all these I, steps are running. I, I see the things are going well, but let's see how it goes. Actually it's uh, already, I'm seeing you're progressing too fast. I think mostly you'll be done in a, in, in a few seconds. Oh, there it is. You know, I just got back with my coffee and my org's done. I'm actually ready to sit down and start doing productive work. Now I agree. There is no point of me continuing this work. Uh, I totally agree. Now I really want to know how you're doing this, uh, David. All right. Well, let's dive in and we can see exactly how this automation can be created and give you all these productivity gains. So earlier, Kamal, we looked at your setup guide that you use to prepare orgs. And what I see a lot among teams building on Salesforce is that your setup guide, it might be a checklist like you've got here. It might be a Word doc that a member of your team is maintaining over the long haul. Maybe you're getting emails forwarded back and forth across your team. There's a lot of knowledge spread throughout different users that we need to boil down and turn into a repeatable series of steps. We've already done that in a sense here by creating this checklist for you. And what we're really going to do as we move into the automation realm is we're going to take that boiling down even further. We're going to turn all of those setup guides into a clear, descriptive, and well-defined set of steps that get executed in one order and end up producing an org that you can sit down and use. Once we do that, we represent those steps as markup. What you're seeing here is YAML markup that lives in a file in your GitHub repository, right alongside your application source code. It shows what steps are gonna be run to configure your org. And you can see some correspondence here between the markup and the list of steps that we established by reviewing Kamal's setup guide. This is real automation, by the way, that we run to prepare an org. And the elements that you're seeing in this list, Kamal, are pieces that we provide out of the box with the Delivery Cloud tools. Delivery Cloud comes with dozens of composable tasks that you can use to define your automation just by writing markup, not code, to achieve your goal of setting up an org. That runs the gamut from creating your scratch org, 
filling that scratch org with metadata for your application, your customizations, loading sample data at any volume from one record to 100 million records. It includes installing your managed package dependencies, creating your persona users that you might use in testing flows, setting up org settings like chatter, enhanced notes, or things that are much more sophisticated, and quite a bit more. You can even go as far as automating your software development lifecycle by integrating directly to GitHub or setting up a marketing cloud tenant that you use alongside your CRM org. What's important about Delivery Cloud and these capabilities is that you get all of this functionality out of the box. You don't have to manually execute each of these steps. You put them together into a flow, you run them with that single command that we looked at, and then you come out with an org that is ready to use and do productive work. So Kamal, now that we've seen how we turn your setup guides into automation and what those the, those automations can do for your process. Let's look back at the challenges you articulated and see where we land for developers and productivity. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go, let's see, right? This is where I was actually doing at this point of time, where I have a list of steps, uh, my cheat sheet, which used to take at least six to eight hours. And now it, with Cumulus, which is delivery cloud interface, it can be done in like less than five minutes. This is a significant uh, increase in my productivity and I can focus on building an application, doing my changes in, on my org and everything, rather than uh, spending all my time in setting up my org. The best part is whatever I do, I can repeat it where my setup cost is also reduced. The best part is my setup cost reduced from six hours to a few minutes where I can right, right now focus on building my applications. The reliability part, which I just mentioned in my initially, where there is no question that it works in my org, whereas my colleague, he or she, when they do, it's not working. Since we automated everything, it's a common thing. It will work for me as well as for my colleague. And it looks like a production-like environment. And there is no conflict because there are no shared orgs, 100% self-service. So. In this presentation, if you see, David and myself took two personas, where me being a developer and David being a consultant. But the overall products, what you see, it can be delivery cloud when you are actually looking into it. It actually reduces your time from a few hours to a few minutes, which is a great add-on when you are actually setting up multiple orgs uh, as part of your day-to-day -day job. The second thing is, who will not love freebies? This entire product, this entire Cumulus is an open source uh, GitHub solution where you can directly use it. The important aspect of uh, this particular automation, what we have open source is we are not building something new. It is totally banked on SFDX. So we are, we our layer is on top of SFDX. So most of the SFDX changes are totally baked in. And you will really see the value throughout the app life cycle. And automation is for every role. And the automation is every role. When I say it's not only for engineers, it is for different personas. David, do you want to talk about that? So Kamal, one of the things I'm most excited about, most passionate about in sharing automation with Salesforce product teams is the idea that we're going to serve everyone and enhance everyone's productivity, not just developers. Because what we find is that everyone who's part of the team creating a Salesforce application also needs orgs to do work in, whether that's a product manager who needs to review and demo product features that are in development, a QA tester who needs fast, reliable environments to do testing and offer feedback, or business users who need to train on new features in realistic environments that don't expose any real customer data. Everyone who's part of that development and delivery lifecycle needs to get hands-on with an org. And the automation that we offer through Delivery Cloud can enable and empower all of those roles too. One way that I will highlight that quality is that we can take this same automation that we just built to empower developers and use that automation to empower users and customers as well. Through the Delivery Cloud product, we can publish automation on a web-based platform 
that lets users and customers bring their own orgs and run automation against those orgs to set up and configure a product from scratch to fully usable in just a few minutes. Delivery Cloud, formerly known as MetaDeploy, is a product that we use in production to deliver applications directly to our customers. And you can use it too, to enable internal users who prefer not to work at the command line and to ship directly to your customers, whether those customers are business users within your company, consultant uh, uh, clients of your consultancy, customers of your ISV, or anything in between. As we close, we'd like to leave you with some resources to get started using Delivery Cloud with your own products. First and foremost, dive in on Trailhead. With build applications with Cumulus CI, you can go from the very beginning, getting set up with, with these tools, all the way through the point where you can release a fully automated managed package by yourself. Next, join the Cumulus CI group on the Trailblazer community, where you'll find other practitioners using Cumulus CI and Delivery Cloud to accelerate their implementations and create value for their customers. See the potential at install.salesforce.org, where you might recognize the case management product I showed you just a moment ago. And lastly, we'll invite you to join the Commons program run by salesforce.org, where you can create impact with other community members using Delivery Cloud to build and ship managed packages to other Salesforce users. And the interesting aspect is we are actually we are coming up with a new launch of a new site, the new homepage, where you will feel the, the look and feel and the categorization of the product. And we are bringing in a concept of solutions and features and feature modules, which can be installed on your uh, on your org, or you can create a scratch org. Uh, stay tuned, lots new coming up. Uh, please stay tuned. Thank you very much for joining us today. We love to talk about automation, and we are so excited to see what you build and ship to create value for your developers, QAs, product managers, and customers. Thank you.